Hey, hey, we're gonna make a um, Dubio Roach salt shaker, like, you know, a shaker, you know, try and shake the feces out. So it makes it easier for you can clean the Dubio Roach bins. All you gotta do is get everything out of the bin, toss the feet on um, Dubio Roaches. No, uh, put in your separator, um, what do you call it? Bucket. How many of you got? And then toss the small ones in here. And then you just close the lid. And what you want to do is get like a um, garbage bag. Put, um, put, put your, um, if you have like a small bin. I do have a small bin for my small doobie roaches right now. Put that bin, um, bin in that bag. And then duct tape the bag on and then salt so the films don't go up. Also wear your mask too. So let's make this. So I'm gonna close. I was thinking about doing it on the inside. I can, looks like I can. Yeah, do it on the inside. So what I did was I taped it basically. I mean, I uh, cut it around and then um, cut the thing out and then I cut around the edges on here this is a mush screen, mush screen. So what I'm gonna do is, you know, do here. It's I got a bigger one this time, so you need glue gun. You will need um to cut this. You would need um what's it call it? Come on, my gosh, a uh, box cutter. Just came to me. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. Let that melt a little bit. So it's hot. And um, let's call it, I was gonna do at the bottom where I just put the lid on, you know, and then shake it like that. But then I will have an open lid on my bottom. Every time I put my feces down, then I'll have to probably put the lid like this, keep it like that as I do it, it's, or put it on a box, cardboard box. I could have done that, but I just said, let me just pour it in here and then just shake it to get the feces out so I don't have it in the other bin where that can stay a little bit clean at least. And when I want to clean my bins, it's gonna be like a salt shaker. Shake it like a salt shaker. Shake it like a shot salt shaker. <laughs> da -da -da -da. I know I'm weird, but all right then. So basically let's get to it. I got a bigger hot glue stick. That's what you need. Gun, hot gun. It's bigger and better, better. So I'm gonna be doing the rounded edges. So this is what I'm doing. Just to make sure it's got to stay. It get a bigger one. Don't get those small ones. Shoot, those small ones are terrible. So the screen trying to come up. And now just flatten as I go along the way. Small one would take forever. Don't go cheap, try to go cheaper. Making sure it's gonna stay down there. Make it a lot. So I'm just spreading it out. I'm just gonna. Do it double, kind of. Doesn't hurt. Try not let it go too much on the screen.
They shouldn't move out of place or nothing. Still trying to dry it up. And that's not going to go nowhere. So, move those pieces. Oh, snap. It's not going nowhere. Nope. It's not going to go nowhere. You can let it sit. I just want it to shake it like a fan. It is. Doesn't matter, but it's not going to go nowhere. Oh, snap. Ooh. Don't do what I just did. Put the stand up. There we go. There we go. Just making sure this time I'm not spray it down. Don't have to do this. Just for extra security. That's basically extra security. So, and yes, it will come um, twist on. Do you want to let that dry? It's on here. My first time doing this, but some people make a self serving shifter. Hey, I could even, like I said, I'll show you. Hold on, I want to show you exactly what I'm talking about. a bigger garbage bag if you have like uh, you could buy a dollar um, container to put your doobie roaches in or your mealworms if you have it like that but what you can do is put your um thing in here okay your container whatever you brought used for like a farm of a container i usually use um for my doobie roaches I have for my small ones. You'll put it in here. Say, but well, you need a bigger bag. You get those big black bags, you know, but I'm trying to work with this one. That's okay. So, for this, you put the thing in here, like the poop. You know, you can either duct tape it or duct tape it. And the lid, of course, will be off, but I just, I'm not taking the lid off. You wouldn't want the lid on, okay? You can duct tape it if it was duct tape. 
like a tape around. Then you save a tape around just for, you know, it just keeps the thing and then you'll just do this. Even you can do this with mealworms. If you would like to, you can cut whole and basically put it in here. I'm mean, open. But usually I would just put it in here. Like, say, mealworms, you want to shift, you'll basically dump some in here, put the lid on top. Is this dry? You want the dry first? All right. You put the lid up. I'll show you. My lid feels warm. So, might. That's funny. It does not want to screw. Oh well. Just work with it. Maybe too much glue. Don't put that much glue on. You don't want to have problems with mine. But, okay. I'm going to basically put some pressure. So, the glue can go down. I made it easier for myself. But I'm not that much glue on it. Stick to that much glue on here. All right, I'm gonna have to use this. Oh no, just use a scissors to push down on this glue. So, kind of flatten the glue. And you also can use your glue gun to flatten it. So, hold on, still plugged in. So melt that down a little bit. Don't worry. You want to melt that glue down just like I'm doing. And then take long just knock on your gun. So I'm melting it down so it doesn't get that thickness when it dries. Pushing it down, that's what you want. I'm rubbing on there. It's kind of cool that you can remelt the glue. I won't move.
So I don't think that you're gonna destroy your thing. You don't. You're just melting it down. So don't put it on while it's hot. And don't put it on too much like I did. Spread it out a little bit more. You can get something to wipe it off the glue. Like this. Wipe some of this glue off at the edge. those edges up. Okay, you want to basically have to be able to screw on. So, you always go back and fix your mistakes. You go in there and take that off the edges. I want to be able to twist on. All you gotta do. There's using heat and the heat gun to melt. I use a pair of scissors, clean up at the side. And that's what you can do. You just take that off. So, keep on doing that till you clean up the edges, till your lid fits. Don't mess up like I just did. Getting clearer, I can see the sunshine. I got to just repeat this process until it gets clear. <laughs> 